Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Windows Update from a Windows Server Update Services. Also, I'm going to show you how to configure Windows 10 updates. For Windows Server Update Services or WSUS, I'm going to use a Windows Server, Learn DC1. And for Windows 10 Update Configuration, I'm going to use Learn CL1C Computer. On the Windows 10 machine, I will right click on the start menu and select settings. I will select update and security. And it was last updated today. However, I'm gonna check for any update right now by clicking on check for updates. So some updates are available. The available updates have been updated automatically. Next, I'm going to go to advanced options, select delivery optimization for a low bandwidth consumption from the internet. And then select the option allow download from other PCs. When I turn this on, this PC is going to look for other computers in the local network from where it can download the updates. Next, I will go back and go back once again. You can also see the update history by going to the view update history option. And on this screen, it's showing all the updates that have been in the past. It's important that you keep your computer updated. Update can make your computer more stable, can fix issues with the existing Windows programs and also can provide new features. Now I'll close the update history window and then go to the Windows server. I'm going to configure a group policy object or GPO that will configure Windows update settings for the domain. From the tools menu, I will select group policy management, expand the forest, expand the domain, and under the domain, I will expand group policy object. Now, first I'm going to create a new group policy object. So I'll right click on group policy object and then select new. I will give a name Windows Server Update Service WSUS Auto Update and then press OK. Now I will edit this new group policy object and set it up for automatic update. So I right click on the group policy object and select edit. From the left side in the computer configuration, I will expand policies and then administrative templates and then Windows components. Once I select Windows update on the left side, I can see a lot of items on the right side of the screen. Now I will look for configure automatic update and I will right click on it and select edit. By default it's not configured so I will make it enable and then also make sure the configure automatic update is set to auto download and notify for install. Next I will press apply and ok. Then I will select specify intranet Microsoft update service location and edit it. Also, I will enable it and then in the options area, I need to type in the address of the server. So I will use HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the server name, which is lawn DC1. The service uses the port number 8530. So I can also specify the port number 8530. 
and in the set intranet statistic server i will use the same server and then apply and okay now the group policy object has been created i need to connect or link this new group policy object to the domain so i'll close this group policy management editor and then right click on the domain name and select link and existing GPO. Now the new group policy object that I created was WSUS auto update. So I'll select that one and then press OK. Now I can close this group policy management window. If I want a client machine to get the update from the server, then I will go to the client machine. I will open common prompt in administrative mode and then first I will force the group policy update so I will use the command gp update space forward slash force I pressed enter and it gave me the result completed policy update has completed successfully Press enter once again and user policy update has completed successfully. Now I can see the result of group policy by using the command zp result and then forward slash r. That is giving the effective group policy object if i look under computer settings and then apply group policy object i can see it has the group policy object ws us auto update so this client machine is going to get update from the server and the server has been configured to download auto update so instead of downloading updates by each client in the network the server is going to download the update and the clients can download the update from the server so for the entire network the update will be downloaded once from the internet to the server and all other clients will download the update from the server within the network that is the end of this video i hope you found this video was helpful if you would like to receive notifications on future videos, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and set up notifications by tapping on the bell. Thank you for watching.